then I want to talk about population in terms of collecting sea anemones and anemone fish for the marine aquarium trip in the Philippines. And after the talk about, I believe you have already known what is sea anemones and anemone fish. And first, I will introduce the purpose. Uh, tropical marine ornamentals comprise an increasingly important fishery worldwide. And analysis of catch records obtained from collectors over a four month period in the Cebu Philippines show that anemone and anemone fish comprise close to 60% of the total catch. And the purpose of this study is want to know whether the environment is affecting the number of creatures or not. And later I will introduce them. So uh, now global trade in marine ornamentals become more important. And what is marine ornamentals uh, like this? And they are not for eating. They they are look, they are like our pets. And ornamental fish are usually kept in tanks or other aquarium systems. And sea anemones and anemone fish are symbiotic relationship. Uh, let's see a video. And we can see in. We can see the clownfish are blowing into the tentacles of the sea anemones. And the fish with quite spots on its body is called the trimaculators. It also symbiotic with sea anemones. And the sea anemone offers the clownfish protection and leftover food. And the clown fish protect the sea anemone by chasing away polyp eating fish, such as the butterfly fish. And sea anemone is a long life cycle, slow growth rate, and low reproductive rate animal. So overfishing will, will let the newborn clown fish don't know where to live. And due to the implicit connection between the sea anemone and clownfish, we also explore their abundance density and population structure. And three methods. Uh, the study area is in Philippines. Olengo and Cebu is here. Uh, here is the map of Olengo. And the Tangan Sanctuary and Nalushan Sanctuary are protected reefs. The Tangan Reef and Pengen and are non-protective reefs. The difference between them is protective reefs cannot do fishing activities, but non-protective reefs can do fishing activities. And this, uh, this, method, this is the information, um, catch rate data. Uh, fishers notebook can be a very useful tool to determine um, fishing competition and volumes. Um, fish and anemone surveys, I will introduce it later, and biomass estimates. Uh, we use the squared relationship. Uh, here is the fish and anemone surveys. We can see the amount, we can see the number of anemones and fish in Biotangan Sanctuary and Nalushan Sanctuary are uh, more than Biotangan and Tengen and uh, um, for results. Um, the cash grade data is from January to April 2002 in the Cebu Olengo region of the Philippines, describing the catch of over 40 collectors comprising 40,000 organisms. And the trimaculators is this. We just seen in the video. And a clarky is this. We can know from the chart is D trimaculators and A clarky were the most abundant species. And fishermen received values from US three cent to twelve cent per fish. Uh, this is the this is their check process. Um, because the license amount is too high so the fishermen can not afford them. Um, um, so And the middlemen send marine ornamentals to consumers. The fishermen cannot decide the price. And 
be against the welfare of the fishermen. And uh, long tentacle anemone is this, and it is long tentacle. And um, flat carpet anemone is this, and it is flat. And uh, long tentacle anemone is made up approximately 1.5 and 4.1 percent of the total catch number and total value of the catch. Flat carpet anemone made up approximately 0.2 and 1.2 percent of the total catch number and total value of the catch. And it is the density of anemone fish. Y axis is the per 100 square meters. Um, X axis is the A plus and B triangulators. We can know A plus and B triangulators were significantly higher in protected sites than in exploited sites. And it is the density of anemone. Y axis is the per 100 square meters of anemones. X axis is the x crystal and other anemones. Uh, x crystal and other anemones also approximately, also significantly higher in protected sites than in exploited sites. And x crystal is this. It has strong tips and the end is all open color with purple or blue spot. And here is purple spot. Uh, size frequency is distribution of A clarky. Uh, y axis is the proportional frequency and X axis is the standard length. Uh, we can know A clarky can grow longer in protected sites. Uh, they can even larger than 7.5 centimeters. Uh, size frequency is distribution of all anomalies combined. Y axis is the commutative frequency. frequency. And uh, we can know the anemones uh, are larger in protected sites than in exploited sites. And number and biomass of anemone fish per square centimeters of edge plate part. Y axis is the per square centimeters of anemone. And X axis is the number and biomass. There were similar numbers in protected and exploited sites. Uh, however, biomass in biomass of anemone fish per unit area of anemone was lower in exploited areas. Uh, propor proportion of free B trimaculators less than two centimeters not associated with anemone in protected and exploited sites. Y axis is the proportion free detrimentulators less than 2 cm, and X axis is the protected size and exploited size. But uh, discussion. Uh, first, <coughs> to the finding of Butler, uh, he said there were no significant di differences between the densities of either anemone or anemone fish on um, protected and unprotected reefs are the grass barrier reef. But uh, in this paper, we determine that aquarium fishing activities significantly impacted the populations of both anemone and anemone fish in the study region. And it is because fish catch data, it provides evidence that fundamental fishing was responsible for the reduced densities of anemone and anemone fish in exploited sites. Uh, six, conclusion. Um, results at the present study reveal that the succession of anemone removals will not only greatly reduce the direct impact to anemone populations, but also reduce the indirect effects on anemone fish populations. And for your attention.